Hello everyone and welcome to the DeerCast. Uh, today we're bringing you a very special video, uh, a discussion video talking about Kiplauf rifles. Uh, and this is just one such example. Uh, this one here is the Merkel K3. Um, so there are, I think, four or five manufacturers out there producing uh, Kiplauf rifles at the moment. There's Blaza who make the K95, which is about £5,000 starting price. There's Merkel who used to make the K3, now make the K5, and that's about £3,500. There's Hainel who are owned or part of the same parent company as Merkel, and they make the Jaeger 9, which is about £1,800. And then there's Bagara, uh, which, uh, who produced the BA-13, which is about 500 to 600 pounds um, uh, new. Now, Kiplauf, uh, or the word Kiplauf, means break barrel, and that is exactly how these rifles work. So exactly like a shotgun, in that you've got a top lever here, you press it and open the rifle, and that's how you, you slot in a, um, a cartridge. Um, it also means they dismantle in exactly the same way as well. So essentially the longest bit of this rifle is, is basically the barrel. Uh, and the advantage to that is, is you can then sort of package these away. And I've got, a, this is my rifle, I've, I've got a carry case for it. Uh, it's about this big. Uh, it essentially looks like a briefcase and no one knows you've, you've got a, a rifle with you. And that's, that's the primary reason I own this. Something to, to pack away, take down, easy to transport, whether that's to Scotland, to abroad, or even sort of on a Friday after work. Uh, and you want to take something into the office that isn't, um, isn't too conspicuous. Kiplaus were, were sort of designed they're mu uh, and are much more popular in Europe, uh, predominantly for this reason that they were designed to be very lightweight, portable, short uh, mountain rifles. So something that you could sling over your shoulder, spend all day carrying, and you wouldn't notice that it was it was there. But they're sort of the caveat to them is they had to be incredibly easy to use and incredibly accurate, which is what what most of the um, the Kiplaus on offer are. Uh, so with this one achieved at the moment sort of 0.75 MOA at 100 meter, 100 yards, sorry, um, ammunition sort of quite easily. And I've tried both of the Bagara and the Hainel, and you can do exactly the same thing uh, with both of those as in sort of about one MOA accuracy. Uh, incredibly easy to use in that you literally top lever over, slide a cartridge in, and uh, there's a cocking uh, safety. You might just be able to see it just behind here which slide, slide forward to fire, slide back for, for safe. Uh, Non-ejector, and I know the Hainel and the Bagara aren't ejectors either. Um, so you then just take out the cartridge, slot another one in, close the gun up, and away you go. Um, in terms of the actual weight of these, um, to give you an idea, this one weighs 2.3 kilos compared to my bog standard Tika, which is about three kilos or three kilograms. So even with a scope on, this is still lighter than the Tika before I've even scoped it up. Um, so quite a big difference and it does make it a real joy to use. As you can probably see from the end here, screw cut as well. So a nice little moderator goes on the end there. Um, got quick detach mounts on it. Uh, so it really truly does break down into a, into a nice little portable, portable package. I've found with Stalking with a Kiplauf, they're just an absolute joy to, to use because they're so light, um, because they're just so simple, uh, you almost feel like you've you're sort of almost gone back in time slightly, which is, is just quite nice. It's sort of a heart back to a, a bygone era in, in some ways. Um, they're very, very portable and short to easy to use. So when it's slung over my shoulder, the top of the barrel, even with a moderator, isn't isn't above my head, whereas with my Tico, I'm sort of up about here with a moderator on it. So crawling through bits and pieces, going through undergrowth, you don't notice it's there. Because it is so light, if you need that sort of quick, easy shot, you can just sort of freehand one rather than necessarily always having to be up on the sticks with it. Um, beautiful, lovely rifles, and I'd strongly recommend if, if you want sort of something similar to this, go out and have a look. Um, as we mentioned earlier, with the price point from five to five, 500 pounds to five grand, uh, there's definitely something out there for, for everybody. So go and have a look, see if you can um, if you can find one. There are definitely some bargains to be had um, out there. This this one is a Merkel K3, and because Merkel have bought out the K5, I was able to pick this up for, for good money um, because it wasn't the sort of latest model out there. And you can pick up some second-hand um, uh, examples of this. And there's a second-hand uh, Vergara and Hainel and even a Blazer on Gun Trader when I checked this morning. So. Go and have a look. Um, they're lovely, lovely rifles to use, and I can promise you, you won't regret it. Um, so thank you very much, very much for watching, everybody, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.